Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Uh, Fanatic is spelled P-H-A-N-A-T-I-C if you'd like to find me. So today's video is really quick. As you can see, I have the, it's actually classified as a rompler, uh, or, you know, you just want to say plug in, it's cool. Uh, Nexus, as you can see, Nexus 2. Um, it's definitely a go-to uh, plug-in for sounds, and you know, I think it sounds great. A lot of sounds are awesome. It has tons and tons of sounds, and it's yeah, classified as a rompler mainly because you can't really sound design in it. Uh, there are some, um, like for instance, I'm just gonna pick a random sound. Let's. <laughs> these are all expansions. I don't know what I'm gonna pick. This is so random. Uh, let's just do something simple, a piano, and let's just do this distorted piano strings, and um, that sounds like a video game, but basically you can go into, um, I think it's mix, yeah, you can mix the different, um, effects or whatever what else can you go into is it frequency yeah you can mess around with the frequencies oh you can also modulate you can do a lot of different things within the sounds you can make it into an arp or whatever i'm not going to get into that um but it's mainly the sounds are ready to go and you just jump in there there's tons of them uh, they're broken down by folders but what i wanted to um uh, show you right quick. I think it'd be really helpful for you, and I use it almost every time I use this plugin, uh, which is because since there's so many sounds, and sometimes when you get into the mode of producing, you don't know. Like, let's say for instance, oh, I want a piano. You go here, and here's all your pianos. But sometimes when you use this other feature, there's other sounds that have piano in it, and you can kind of find more what you're looking for so let's say um for instance i was making like a really dark trap beat you know which is popular in the market and i was like yo let me just go to this little expansion halloween or whatever i was finding all kinds of crazy stuff in here let me just whatever you know these are like sound effects here's a pad So let's say I wanted something, think of a word like trap. Trap music kind of has like the, the horror theme to it. And this feature that I like a lot in this plugin, um, you can always just go down to a search area. And what you can do, notice last time I searched for strings. If I click on that, everything that has strings in the entire plugin shows up in this other preset window. So um, I wish they categorized it because ST stands for strings. Um, then they have these other short, um, what do you call it, uh, like descriptive shortcuts or whatever, acronyms. But I wish they categorized it by that. I wonder if I can do that. See, I'm learning on camera. See that? So you hit that little, um, see, so you can organize it by ABC, which is by category, or a preset shortcut category. Uh, what that is is okay so you organize it by category or just alphabetically so I like alphabetically so it looks like they break it down based on the categories of the folders so you click on it ABC it's done by alphabetical order which I like better so you look I learned something and hopefully you learn something on that because <laughs> I never knew that I never clicked that um, so, for instance, I just did my old search. I was searching for strings. I didn't want to, like, go through every folder. And I'm in the vibe, you know. I'm, like, producing. I want to get to some strings really fast. And, you know, this basically is a quick way. That is flute and strings.
I'm using my typing keyboard, you know, for um, that chord or whatever. So forgive me if it wasn't like a really great chord. I got something good out of it. But uh, what I'm trying to get to is like when you use the search area down here, you can get to things quicker in this plugin. And and let's say you didn't like that string, always hit this next arrow, which I love. And you can get to the next sound. And what you can do actually is create a melody first. And once you have, you know, your melody and whatever, you know, whatever this is, this is on an old project I did, and you create your pattern, you know, you have your pattern. And in your sound, what you can do as you're playing that pattern, you can check just keep changing the sound. Wait, let me just... And let's say that's your pattern playing. I'm just playing it here on my keyboard. Typing keyboard. Actually, you like that. So... Now you can test different sounds quickly in that pattern to see how you feel about it in your beat. So um, let me actually show you how to search for something. I always just keep it here. You can always create a new search. But what a quick way, what I like is a little trick I do. I pretty much use it every time. Um, and it might not be a really, it might be a well-known. You might not know about it, but I use it. Um, just right click on the search area and you can rename it. Uh, let's rename it haunt because I want something haunting or whatever only one thing came up it's a sound effect so uh, let's rename I'm just picking random stuff let's see what comes up with trap a couple things got an arpeggiator crazy picture three let's see what that is on the house EDM side That's a lead, but it almost has like a pegiation sound. Here's a pad. Actually, I like that sound a lot. So you see how quick you can get to sounds. I told you it would be a real quick video. Uh, you can always just do a new search. You hit new. Um, it'll have a whole new category, new search. Uh, I'll just leave it as a new category. Actually, I created a new folder. That wasn't a new search, so let me get rid of that. I do not want that category, so we'll delete that. So you click on search, and what you want to do, you can delete it, rename, or just do new search. Uh, let's type in, I don't know, happy. <laughs> stuff actually came up so what it what it is is a whole separate search from that and you can have multiple search you have a happy search excuse me happy search right here or just trap let's do a new search new search um let's see let's have pad so let's go to happy see what we found <laughs> It has like a pop feel. It actually is happy. Uh, happy joy. That is so video game. You can see how easy I get distracted with sounds. Um, then you can go to the new other search you had, pad. Now well, let's see what we find on pad.
there you have it so that's a quick way of um, categorizing or searching your entire library in Nexus you can create multiple searches you can actually just have you know your go-to you can create you know you have a pad let's change this piano rename piano hit enter it brings up all the pianos um, there is a pluck category right here but let's say you just want to do a new search plucks oops if I can spell right okay here you go and actually nothing came up with plucks I'm actually shocked maybe plucked <laughs> let's just rename that I don't know what else you want to search for drums there you go so these are drums in here are kind of random most of them are like little patterns but all these sounds can be useful actually double that's like a house feel most of these will have like an EDM but you can always actually sample that what the heck was that? You can actually sample that and do your own thing with it. So anyway, you get the idea. You got all these different searches. You can have a bunch of searches. You can delete the searches. You can rename the searches, which I usually do. Um, but I find um, having multiple searches, it actually saves it because you close this program, open up a new project. This plugin would always have these searches here, and that way you can get to your sounds quicker that you use on the regular. And it definitely increases your workflow. You're able to get to stuff faster and just kind of get that musical idea out your head quicker. So hopefully you find that helpful. I told you it's a quick video. It's DJ Fanatic Beats. Again, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Again, I'm a content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. And uh, hopefully this will help your workflow. Hopefully, you know, you know, you don't need all these extra plugins. Uh, Nexus is really, really good. Uh, you have it. You know, this is hopefully a way that will help you uh, navigate through those sounds and also just get your music out quicker because that's the ultimate goal is to get your creative idea into the program and and out to your audience, you know, and, you know, to touch the hearts of many artists. So, again, make great music. Keep doing your thing. Peace, y'all.